Hey up, Ravers. Hey. I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, blooming heck. Uh, it's the it's the Rutchell family fireworks uh, do tonight. Uh, I gotta get a race now, chat it away, because everybody's moaning at me. They're all waiting for me. Uh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, just give us a few minutes. Hey <laughs> uh, up, Ravers. Welcome to Ray Ruttle's race night. <laughs> Yes, it's Bonfire Night Ravers, ain't it? Yeah, welcome to the dining room for the 706 and the Get Forks Fireworks Fiesta. Yeah, you might hear some of the bangs. Uh, there's loads of fireworks going off outside. Terrible for pets. Uh, we've got the uh, Rutchell family firework display uh, shortly. I've got to get this race done and then I've got to set the fireworks off in garden. Everybody's waiting for me. Anyway, the Get Forks Fireworks Fiesta will be contested over a distance of 3 feet 11 inches and the going is firm. And there's five runners. And a road on to the gate draw. And in gate one, we've got Buckle of Bear, written by John Oliver with no trousers on. Oh, God. I haven't seen him for a couple of weeks, but, uh, yeah, still irritates me. Look at him. Smug. He's in superb form. I mean, he's out to, on his own at the top at leaderboard. Uh, he's got a good cushion. Difficult to see any of the runners catching him. But I hope they do, because, oh, look at him. Look how smug he is in his Liverpool underpants. Uh, I can't stand him. Get him off. Get him off. In gate two, it's the Scarlet Pumpernel, ridden by Ickle Ray. Yo, oh, there you look. Look at that. you got a sparkler codpiece on. Uh, you want to be careful with that. You don't want a uh, burn on your todger. That could be very painful, that would. Hey, this is the one race where it'd be appropriate for you to have a, a smoke flight coming out here. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. I'll let you off this week, mate. It's fireworks now, nice, isn't it? So, yeah, on your way. Gate three, it's a Steed, ridden by Mrs. Peel. Uh, had a bit of a blip in form lately, Mrs. Peel, on Steed. Uh, looking very good earlier in the season, very classy, but uh, falling away a little bit. Can Mrs. Steed and John Peel turn things around tonight? We shall see. Gate 4, a blue mover, ridden by my lad Dean. Now, blue mover has been all over the shop in the last few weeks. It's been a bloody liability. Uh, don't think Dino's taking this seriously anymore. Now, his, his horse has only got three legs. He's all over the place the uh, last few weeks. Come on, lad, book your ideas up like Maxine's done. Uh, she's improved uh, Village Green Preservation Society's form, so can we see the same from blue mover? I'll have to wait and see. And finishing off the lineup in gate five, it's all white on the night. Ridden by my wife Denise, and she appears to be reading the fireworks safety booklet there. Very wise. Never return to elect firework ravers. You get more than your fingers burnt if you do. Yes. So on to the odds for tonight. Well, as you'd expect, Buckle of Bear is your favourite. Three to one. All white on the night, second favourite, 72, and that's because she's been in very good form lately. Uh, she doesn't want to relinquish her tackle without a fight. No. Scarlet Pumpernel and Steed level on 4 to 1. And the outsider, as you'd expect, the three legged Blue Mover at 6 to 1. Remember, these odds are just for information purposes. Just hope you pick a winner. Gamble responsibly. Don't gamble with your fireworks tonight. You might have already done your bonfire nights and your, your fireworks and stuff like that. Now, if you had, I hope you uh, you stayed safe. But if you're waiting and doing them after race night, then be safe. Adhere to all your safety protocols. Pop your sparklers in a bucket of water once you've used them. And as I say, never return to a lit firework. No, don't gamble with that. You've only got one pair of eyebrows, as I found out to my cost before. Well, last week we saw Rip take a tumble as he slipped up on the stool. And it was Don't Eat Yellow Snow, Village Green Preservation Society and Dallas Green fighting it out for that win. But Village Green Preservation Society went down at the last. And Dallas Green just beat Don't Eat Yellow Snow to it by a hoof nail. But after the race we saw this heinous act from Diamond Dallas Pace. Disgraceful. Like Eric Cantona's Kung Fu kick. Appalling baby. Deaky lad is a very lucky boy. By rights, should have had a points deduction and suspension, but uh, the no disqualification rule has worked in his favour this week. 
Hopefully, we will not see similar scenes today, but let's get to starting gates to find out. Yeah, they're going to start his own days. And they're off. And out they go from the gates. Now, who's going to take the early lead as Buckle of Beer swerves to avoid the gravy stain? But Buckle of Beer's gone down! <laughs> get in! <laughs> and it's Steen who's in the lead! But the Scarlet Pumpernel pushes ahead! And Blue Move is down and all! It's Carnage out there today! Scarlet Pumpernel is in front! It's the Pumpernel who's going to win it today! Steed gets second! And all that on the night cannot finish! Well, I kept waggling as long as I could, and Steed and the Pumpernel have gone down, but Blue Move has obstructed all that on the night and has prevented her from getting a place. Well, what an event-filled race that was. And it all kicked off right at this very first fence, as we saw Buckle of Bear, ridden by John Oliver with no trousers on, slipping up on the stool. There he goes! <laughs> Down you go, fella! Oh, and Blue Movie, though, looks like he might be in the lead, but he's veering off at a funny angle again. And then he catches Ruttles up, and then he goes down, and that ruins all that on the night's chances. And it's the Pumpernel from Steed, who are way out in front, unopposed by the rest of the field. Blue Movie lies at prostate on the ground, and all that on the night cannot get past him. The Pumpernel goes over the line in first, Steed gets second, and all white on the night's trying her best to get round Blue Movie. I'm waggling away to give her a chance, but she just cannot do it. Is that going to prove costly at the end of the season? Let's get confirmation of the results. So, confirmation of the results of the Dining Room 706 and the Get Forks Fireworks Fiesta. First was Scarlet Pumpernel, 4 to 1. Second was Steed, also at 4 to 1. And that were it, because although all five ran, three didn't finish. John Oliver with no trousers on took a tumble on Buckle of Bear right at the start on the stool. And then Blue Movie toppled over courtesy of Ruttles up and he impeded All White on the Night's progress, stopping her from getting what would have been an invaluable third place. But instead, the Scarlet Pumpernel romps home with Steed in second. What has that done to the leaderboard? Well, Buckle Bear fails to extend his lead at the top. He's still on 29 points. But all white on the night were unable to close the gap. How crucial is that lack of a finish going to be for her? She had an opportunity tonight, didn't she? Gifted an opportunity, but Blue Movie scuppered it for her. Dallas Green's in third place on 22 points. Steed has climbed up a nickel bit. He's in fourth on 21, and Scarlet Pumpernel is back in the top five, in fifth on 18. Down in the bottom half at table, and I've dropped out at top five, that was short lived. I'm in sixth on 18. Rip and Diamond Dallas Page are both on 16, but Diamond Dallas Page is down in eighth because of the countback rule. Should be down at the bottom because of points deduction, but there we go. Village Green Preservation Society in ninth on 15 points. And Blue Movie shows no signs of getting off the body with form like he's shown the last few weeks. What is he doing? All over the place. He's in 10th on 11. Well, what's going to happen next week? Come and join us. Sunday, 14th of November, 7pm in the dining room for the gate jar. As we edge ever closer to the Boxing Day Bonanza and the season finale. And in the meantime, get online at rayruttle.com forward slash race night to check out the full schedule, the season standings and maybe sponsorship information should you choose to sponsor a race. You can give it to that name if you want. And message me, tweet me at rayruttle or pop a comment below or email me via my website. Always love to hear from the ravers. It'd be nice if John Oliver got in touch, but he never does. He's too arrogant. Yeah, a chop at table and he's just too arrogant. To give me the courtesy of a reply. Never replied to my correspondence. He can go forks, he said. That's what he can do. Uh, and remember to poke the like button. I'm definitely poking it tonight. The like button, that is. Because Buckle of Bear might have buckled it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I enjoyed that. Uh, and remember to share the excitement to race out with your mates. And subscribe to my channel if you ain't already. And I will see you a lot next week. Okie doke. Yeah, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. What do you mean you've sat some up? But they ain't gone up. Don't worry, I'll go back to them, it'll be fine.